Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? This your boy, Mr. J, and I'm coming all the way. What's good, Motherland? What's happening, man? Yo, man, I keep going through a whole lot of good throwback links that you guys sent to me. And I remember a couple of days ago, a brother sent me this link by this artist from Sierra Leone. Crack Twist and Samza, man. What if? About the coronavirus issue. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start, pause for a minute, hit that subscribe button, smash the like and the notification. And please do your brother a favor, man. Just let the commercial play. You dig? It's going to help a brother out. A long run. You smell me? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's not waste a whole lot of time talking. Let's get into this ish. This is a global crisis. Everybody got to feel some certain ways about it. I mean, so let's go, man. What if we need to pray as one blending Islam and Christianity? What if the planet is shut down and then reboot humanity? The what if the planet shuts down and reboots humanity? What if we all prayed as one blending Christians, Islam, everything blend as one? What if that's a wishful thinking, bro? But with the complexities of human nature, I don't think it's, it's something that we're going to achieve. Look at what is happening in, 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 in Syria. Look at what is happening uh, in the Middle East, Afghanistan. You got parts of the world where people live in their lives normally, chill, go to the beach. And they have parts where kids don't have food to eat because they're scared to go out. And they have bums dropping on them. You dig so, but I personally do not think, I do not think that there's going to be a total reboot of humanity. Like kind of like what happened with Noah and the ark where God just, you know, flooded the whole earth. A buddy of mine told me that Africa wasn't flooded. So I don't know how real that shit is, but let's keep going deep already. Try to be the greatest. But that's the abnormality that go against the social laws, but that's defining sanity. Yes, cracks with you eyes what What if we go against the social norms? That's insanity. That's that's this is dope, yo. Shalom, this is this is some powerful message. You dig? If there was no supremacy, what if we not forget this so-called genius of freedom? Some deep thinking research, night and pass knees and cough. Now then kind of stupid scientists to fit and cough. What if what if there, there were no Freemason? Yo, what you when you think of Freemason, it's like a brotherhood. I do not believe in all secrecy. Of course, if you guys belong in an association, you're not gonna allow outsiders to come in. It's the secrecy of all these brotherhood, Freemason, Illuminati, Opus Dei, Eastern Stars. I mean, that a whole lot of people look at it like it's different. It's kind of like people talk about Freemasons, but people do not talk about the Hindu practicing Gugus in India. Them are some spiritual people right there. Trust me. But hey, what if, man? And he says some scientists create... It's... Bro, we will never understand what really happens. You dig? But I like the fact that they're touching on certain things. We never exist. We all live in Trump's dreams. What if the end is now? What if the worst is not what we've just seen? What, what if the end is now and the world is not what we've seen? Everybody, we've seen the vulnerability of, of countries, governments, regimes, health systems. It's not war. That's a virus, man. People, people governments allocate billions, trillions on military when they forget the essential. Look at America. Billions. Military aid package every year. Billions. But look at what just happened. No shot was fired. And dude said, what if we all live in Trump's brain? <laughs> Trump is a crazy is a crazy human being, but hey, human beings are irrational animals. You dig? So hey, they come in different shapes, size, and attitude. Hitler also existed. If you meant to suffer and live a better afterlife, what if been dead, set free, or even get tonight? We get tonight, quarantine, we stay. 
What if we have to suffer and die and live a better life, the afterlife? When you read about exoteric knowledge, about the Egyptian gods, about how they embalmed to believe that you live the, the afterlife, man. If you watch The Mummy and so on, these are all mythologies which fit in this concept, man. If you're thinking like this, what if you're already thinking in an exoteric manner? You dig? But yo, I like, this is touching, man. But they're just asking a whole lot of questions. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? I mean. They say shufu choparata. They say the Chinese ate rat. And this shit spread, but their great great grandfathers already don't be eat. They ate rat. They ate everything with the big ass loaf of bread. That's tight, bro. I like. I like that. I like that. <laughs> The world is crying. We can all beat this. Don't lie to us. We can all see what's happening. I mean, he said the world is devastated. People dying. Everything is just going wayward. It's true. But you see, whatever has a, a beginning is going to have an end. And we're going to know sooner or later. You dig? Like, look at what China is doing. Suppressing information. But we getting information. They're saying just 3,000 people died in China. We are not fools, man. Everybody can see through. They're lying through the teeth. I mean, let's go. Stop saying what if. What if we say we can. What if we fucking act the movie. All this shit has been planned. They say when two elephants fight, the grass suffer. That's a, a parable. That's a quote from Motherland. I mean, but it's true. The two elephants, China and in the U.S., the trade war. You know, if you guys don't know, the trade war, when they were signing the first part, China had a clause in it saying that if there is a situation of a God-given pandemic, they're going to pull out of every agreement with the U.S. And a couple of weeks later, boom, there was this. So they knew. And that brother said, what if we are just acting a movie and all of this is planned? It's possible, bro. It's possible. I'm not limiting my brain, my, my, my thoughts to, to boundaries. It is well possible that this shit is planned. To depopulate, to do everything. But if you look at photos now from the satellite, the emission of toxic gases in the atmosphere has died down. No planes flying, living, you know, marks, carbon, CO2. Come on, man. It could be that it's all planned, bro. I mean, the grass of our thing will live for the grass of our what the farm for Super Bowl. Coco and pizza from the one thing big one who would take her cats a good job. What if these two elephants fight? The grass suffers, but then what is going to be left for the grasshopper? The grasshopper needs grass, that's why it got its name from grass. To you know, the powerful fight, the little ones suffer. China and America fighting, the world is suffering. Facts, man, facts. Got the answers to all the fucking questions. What if they're trying to find a cure? It's just a long depression. Now China fought me with enough free town. Don't smell a lot. <laughs> China fought that people in free town, in Africa, other parts of the world. Smell. What if they are pretending to try to find a cure, but they know what has happened? Sealed knowledge, esoteric movement. It's possible, bro. Everything wasteful they say is Africa. Anything bad is Africa. Facts. What you saying is true, bro. But it's, it's what the West has always done. Look at African leaders supporting China for the mess they're doing. Yes, man. Yeah, yes, man. So what I was saying is, they always try to make the black person 
take the blame for everything. You dig? Look at look at our African leaders coming out to support China. You know why? Because they borrowed a whole lot of money from China. And China got their, their nuts in its hand to squeeze. We all see what is happening to the Africans in China. We all seeing this. Because this is an era of technology. Whatever you do in any part of the world can be on you on, on YouTube, can be on the internet. And once it's on the internet, it takes a life of its own. No more lies. They saying 3,000 people died, but we seen something different. So this shit is it's crazy, man. Can't vaccine Africa, but if they can aid and with section people must sit down. Life's supposed to be a blessing, not a fucking curse. If you fucking make a disease, you should fucking make the drug. If you make a disease, if you create a problem, you should have a solution. It could be somebody created it to show the world how dangerous it is, and then they're going to pop out with a vaccine, a solution, and get billions, why not trillions, because the world is at on its knees right now, with both hands up, surrendering. A lot of people can tell you that. If you don't know, that shit when it hits home, then you're going to understand. I'm speaking from experience. And do the same. You guys made vaccines you want to test in Africa like those bastards in France were saying. I cannot believe an educated medical doctor is going to sit and say that shit. But yo, this is not the first time a white medical doctor went to Africa to take shit. Do you know there used to be a Russian doctor who left and came to Africa to try to impregnate African women with chimpanzee sperm so they can have a human chimpanzee? You guys don't know that, did you? He wasn't allowed to do that shit in, in Europe. He flew to Africa. He tried to do that shit to Africa. It didn't work. He fooled a whole lot. Everything, they want to dump every bad thing on motherland, y'all. That's the thing I'm saying. Y'all got to be, stay alert. The shit that is happening to African brothers in, in China. Yo, look for Chinese in Africa. Do the same shit on them. I'm telling you. Sometimes you got to be radical to send a message. And I mean, forget our leaders. They already sold us, sold us, sold, sold the souls of the, the next three generations by borrowing money that they cannot sustain. I mean... John's lesson, Mary learn. Eight o'clock, the fairy lands. We sleep with one eye open, cause we scared. You don't know who's gonna pick it, who's gonna get, who's gonna be next. You dig? It's crazy, y'all. Ebola popped. They didn't say nothing because it was in Muffland. Now everybody's running helter skelter. Scientists from Australia to Iceland to everywhere trying to. But Ebola popped. Nobody did shit. I don't think they even found a treatment for Ebola yet. So that shit is crazy, y'all. But if we say percent for people in Maryland, yes. Imagine them to wonder what to do. Why can't they but say angry day? What? We need to change the way we look at things to make the thing change the way. We need to change the way we look at things to make the things change the way they look at us. Shutdown, lockdown, hunger, people are starving. Things are not going the way they're supposed to go. But hey, there's gotta be a master plan. Yeah, they gotta be there's gotta be a master plan. Who is deceiving? Who is fooling who between Trump and Uncle Xing Fu? Chinese. They're playing that stuff. But I like the fact that it's not a good situation. But come to think of it, whatever humanity holds dear was starting to fade away. Family time, stay at home, the environment, the planet, our earth. But this stuff for the past two months has made us seem how shit is supposed to be.
Now I mean you come think it's like if you get better days, cause I believe say so one day the world will be a better place. Think carefully. I do believe the world's gonna be a better place. I believe that too. But first, my own belief, the thing is the world has to give importance to Africa because everything that the world is is from motherland. You cannot argue with me on that fact. The Ghanaian author, Mama Bless Her Soul, man, I do. She said it. I mean, until the world starts putting peace instead of hate, civil wars taken from motherland, the world's gonna be upside down. Yeah, I know Jassy Josie on the mix. Yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, good hypotheticals, good question and accent. What if this is that? What is. But what if we don't even know what's happening? The thing is scary. Nice one from Crack Twist. I appreciate the brother asking me to check him out. Powerful message. Coronavirus is real. Let's take care. Let's protect our own and let them keep fighting. You dig? Like he said, this 4G or this 5G issue, we, we about to see, y'all. If it's a conspiracy theory, hey man, we all gonna see sooner or later. You guys be good, man. Before I leave, you guys do not forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and the notification. And of course, please do let the commercial play. I try to put at least three commercial, let a couple of them play. That's how you show love to Mr. J. You dig? From me to you, man, you guys be good, and I hope you're having a great weekend. Stay indoors, man. No MLS going out. This shit is real, y'all. This shit is real. I'm out of here. Peace. Shout out to Crack Twist and Samza. You guys keep doing you, you dig? I'm out of here. One.